drawn ellipses. Here I have a rectangle drawn and I want to put an ellipse inside there and I'm going to come up and I'm going to go up to my circles and underneath here I have ellipse. The first thing it says is pick the ellipse center. Uh, when I get near uh, it'll find two tracking vectors and find the center of this uh, these four lines that make up a rectangle. I pick and then it wants to know what my first access point is. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say yep I'm going to place it right here now. I can just pick it and I'll do that and now I'll say select the point on the ellipse so where's my next point and I can pick it right there and so it can create a ellipse. Um, likewise uh, I could also do uh, my precise uh, input, inventor precise input. So I can go up and do the ellipse. I can find my center. I could come up and I can hit this down arrow and I can go to precise input and I can key in exact values if I know. Um, so I can come over here and say oh on the X I want it to go 1. And uh, so now it's at a distance of 1 away from there and then I can say oh on now over here I can say well I want to go on the Y for example maybe I want to go from here and I can say oh let's put in a value of oh let's go with a uh, with one as well and you can see I have a value of one here and I can pick that in boom and so I can place that in so I can use uh, the inventor precise input if needed and that can get me also drawn ellipses. So ellipses are found over here along with the center, uh, I mean the circle center and the circle tangent. Ellipse is found in this list as well. So we can pick the center point and it's major and minor axis. The major axis is the longest axis, the minor axis is the shortest axis.